Hey Turtle Club, good morning. It is I, Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and this is Survival Sunday, which is our series for Ark Survival Evolved on the Brutal Ark server. While we test our metal against dinosaurs that are gigantic, uh, do not attempt to adjust your television set or your other streaming device because the picture is a static image. Uh, we will get to that in just a second. You can hear the crackling of the fire and some opening doors. But there have been two additions to the map. Um, two, um, if you can get to them, locations are actually pretty good. The first one, uh, just to point out here, is of course the murder, murder snow location. Uh, we got this shot here. It is a screen cap while we are in the admin account to put this in here. Uh, much like our other community center, this one does have access to a rewards vault. It has access to an upgrade station, which will allow you to do augments for gear. Hey, good morning, Freddy. How's it going, buddy? And so that is the first one. And let's just go ahead and move that away. Boom. Here is the second one. This is on the southern part of the island. Um, it is where we usually call the, the Wyvern Cave. Um, given a good location here as well. That also does have an upgrade station. It's got a blueprint station on it as well. Um, so there is a restriction, of course, to these stations. Uh, you can only upgrade an item five times before it's out of upgrade slots. Uh, so the idea you would want to do is, of course, upgrade one and then make a blueprint out of it, and you can upgrade the, the actual resulting crafted item as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this image as well. Uh, those that are watching at home or watching the stream that are actually playing on the server can use these two screenshots to get an idea of where these are for future. All right, so here we go. Here I am. Hey, there's the way of the Freddy that I owed him. All right. So as we recall, I'm too picky. Um, she just wanted to sit wherever. We couldn't find a good spot for her, but she's been she's been here, you know, sitting around our, our base. We finally got our base built. Um, she's been eating all the berries that we get uh we do have the smoker going with the spark powder um got a little bit of stuff but nothing too much the big 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 thing is while we've been rebuilding this base uh two things did get added one we got you know i have two picky's room i mean look at the size of this thing guys and then we had to redo the whole entire base to get this accommodating and we do have a second floor Got to mind her head. The second floor in here, all we have right now is a fabricator. Hello. How are you today? All right. And we have, so we got all this built. And this is, a, this is the basic base that we're going with right now. We haven't been selected for a purge yet, so we're good with that. Uh, the main thing that we're going to need to do is we need to get to, to farming. We need to get some sort of garden stuff going up. So what we need, more than anything, is we're going to need some metal. Uh, you could ask anything that you'd like. However, do keep in mind we are a family-friendly channel and we do not take kindly to trolls. Got the rules right above our head. So you could ask anything you'd like to ask, sir or ma'am. So we need some metal, and we are going to go looking for some metal. We're going to have to go through, hopefully there's not much evil stuff around here. We'll find out though. The fact that it's a bit of a, bit of a walk, oh no, those are compies. How big, oh, that's a 600 compy. That's a 1080 copy. We're going to have to get out of these things. We're going to have to go get our poking stick. We didn't want to possibly lose our poking stick because it took us a bit to get it made, but it is what it is. Um, well, there's a lot of reasons why we ban people. Uh, if you're asking about a game that I played over two years ago... I'm old, man. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. But there's a lot of reasons why they're probably banned. Uh, usually is for breaking any of the rules that are above my head, rotating through the whole entire time. Uh, arguing with the streamer and the mods is another reason. 
Uh, posting inappropriate content for a family-friendly channel is another. Uh, meme posting is another as well. Spam posting is another. Uh, take your pick. Uh, they uh, weren't too awesome if they got banned, to be honest. All right, let's see here. First we want to do is we want to repair these so we don't wind up wasting time getting it. Um... Freddy. Well, it wasn't wasn't on my second channel. <laughs> I, I think we've only banned like one person on the second channel, Freddy, and that's because they said some inappropriate things to dig rat, and that's that's a big no no. There are very few things that we banned for on the mature content channel, but direct insults are usually pretty uh pretty the only way to go for it. Alright. So maybe we'll be able to fight these copies and... Alright, so we can, we can spear them from here. Uh, yeah, usually if someone's blocked... Alright, have a good one. Alright, so clearly the level 600 and the 1080 are going to take a while more to die. But we will get them killed pretty soon. Alright. Alright, we just got this last one to kill. Alright. And we got a level up. Uh, up that melee damage. That's going to serve us pretty good. That's going to serve us pretty good as we explore this. Now this... That's a level 600 pego. Uh, okay, so we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a wide berth. Uh, it's going good, Freddy. We got a vote going on the Discord, man. Uh, for the next game series, we're in between games. That vote is until 10 o'clock today, so just under three hours to get votes in. I do not know what the votes are, but someone was telling me it looks like it's almost a three-way tie because they've been kind of sneaky, sneaky counting. But only if they can see when people post can they count, so can't for certain say that's what it is. All right, so there's a dodo. There's another dodo. Go to vote then. Absolutely, man. Get your vote heard. Get your vote heard. Uh, there's eight different games right now. And if you don't vote, and you don't like what, get, what gets chosen, then you really can't complain. Oh, we, we've got to get away from all these things. Oh, dear Jehoshaphats. That's way too many Ichthys. All the Ichthys. All the Ichthys. And the compies, oh my god, too many of those too. Okay, looks like the Ichthys have stopped. This compie though, how big is it? It's only a 240. I ain't too afraid of a 240 exactly. I think I should be able to kill it in about three hits maybe? Four? More hits than I thought. All right. Uh, the Discord in the recommendations room. It's a level 300 Dilo. Not too concerned with it. I know there's there's some actual metal around here. That's basically what we're looking for is the metal around here. Yep. Yeah. No worries, man is okay oh it's a gas bags 
sweet. All right. So I know you guys are like, well, I know you got to get some gardening done, Mag. So why are you getting all this metal for us? Because we need the 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 irrigation pipes. And oh, buddy. Oh, uh oh. I don't think this Degas are going to get that Rex killed. To 600 and another 600. This is some hyenas. Mm. We could. Oh, there. Those those dogs just went off the edge, so that's not too bad. All right. It's a Diplo. Hmm. How big is the gas bags? 240? Oh, he's coming this way, too. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. Watch the gas bags fly away. I don't think they'll... Wait, seriously? It's attacking me? Oh, oh, it might have just killed me. Sammy the fish fighter. Hello, Sammy. How are you today? Um... I'm used to gas bags like running off. I'm not used to them being aggressive. All right, let's get some of this metal over here. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. We are we are playing on our public server. Information is in the description for the video. But if we're time, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Majora's Mask. Yeah, we've already 100% Majora's Mask. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting Ocarina of Time to, or uh, Skyward Sword to take it. But I have seen a couple people voting for. Uh, oh no 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 no! Back away from the high end of dawn. I've been seeing some people voting for uh, Subnautica also. So I'm not sure what's going to win. I am definitely curious. All right, so let's let's back all sorts of away from that guy. I hear it coming after us. Oh, okay, it's fighting the gas bag. I'm starving. Do I have any food? Raw meat. That's not going to do it. Breath of the Wild might come back according to the... It is a possibility. Breath of the Wild is in the in the categories. It would be Master Quest. Yep, I defecated. Um, he's got plenty of them to eat. So we'll let him eat all the high end as he wants. Let's see. What, what berries are our top berry right now? Blueberries, okay. Alright. There's some more bones. We, of course, pick up the bones because we can turn them into food later. We're not going to run unless we absolutely have to... Uh, there's been some bug updates, but there's nothing else added to it, Sammy. They, they've already uh, announced that if they do anything on Breath of the Wild, it'll be some sort of cosmetic throw-in. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Odyssey looks fun, but I'm not really good at those kind of games, so... 
Now, Dan Marchetti, one of the guys that we watch stream, uh, he's actually one of the the current speed record holders for it. And watching him play is just amazing. Triple jumps and quad jumps and other things that look like jumps that aren't jumps and dives and all that. Of course, you know, if, if something like Subnautica were to win the vote, uh, we probably wouldn't play ARK. Because doing two survival crafting games would get kind of uh, boring for everybody to watch, I think. So we'll see how, uh, how it all turns out, though. You never know how these votes will go. All right, so eat some more berries and get some more of this. Are you in FPS games? Uh, this is a first-person shooter game. I do enjoy them to a point. Um, however, I like FPS games that involve skill. If they are luck-based, then they're really not for me. Um, and that's my current problem I have with a lot. On LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga Breath of the Wild? LEGO Star Wars looks good. I've not played any of the LEGO games in a while. But I, uh, as far as first-person shooter games go, the one I like the most right now is Overwatch. I do have a review copy of Pandemic Express currently in my queue that I got to get to. Um, I'll be playing that probably sometime in the next week or so, maybe. All right. I'm encumbered. Yeah, we need to toss all this stone. And I am now hungry. We got a pretty good amount of metal. So I think we're going to try to make it back to our base. That's the, the thoughts. Alright. If you were to play one, recommend you Tom Kansas Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's a really good game. I've heard some decent, okay things with that. Um, well, you know, Freddy, if people recommend it, then it would get in the vote. But unfortunately, they haven't recommended it. That's that's the one thing about recommendations, guys. You know, since we're playing most of our main series is through the recommendation systems, they do have to be actually recommended. All right, and uh, Freddy, it looks like you still need to vote, man. It doesn't say that you finished your vote yet. You gotta use the, the vote command and then wait and then use the number afterwards. That's the one thing people get confused on apparently is they have to actually put it in. Yeah, I see where you tried to vote for Ocarina of Time a couple times, but you weren't using two commands, you're using just the one. Oh my goodness, that Rex is dead, guys. That's a 1620 hyena dawn. That's okay. There you go, man. All right, I see it. All right. Oh no, Rex. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we let that go. Eat all of the blueberries. Is there anything else? Oh, it's not dead. Oh. Oh. It just ran out of things to eat over here, apparently. Okay. Um. Okay. We got plenty of metal, um, sorta. Rex to the Rex inning, absolutely. All 
Alright, so... What is currently taking up all the weight in my inventory? Just the metal? And we came here for the metal? And some bones? We... we... Level 300 Triceratops. Man. This is about to go really poorly for us. I look like Kratos from God of War. Um, kinda? It's the beard. The beard kind of does it. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10. Clean up the vote room real quick. Alright. Some more bones. Oh, there's some wood. We can drop the wood. Drop that thatch. Kind of there's an eyebrows. Eh, kind of hard to say why that would be like it is. It's a little 600 compy. Uh, oh, the dad bod. Eh, it's not quite the dad bod. But it, 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 I've definitely been fed pretty well in this game. Alright. So we're, we're just hoping that this Rex keeps going this direction away from where our base is that the, the things that we were quick to run away from earlier we're still okay with get us a small drink of water boy howdy a 1060 that's that's just all sorts of just not good for us at all on the bright side, we're, we're getting some walk, some some hide and meat, <laughs> providing we can actually get all this stuff to the base. Um. So, Sammy, uh, basically, the reading the comments, a way to get banned. Oh, took a midjo berry. That's 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 not good. We got to run. So, not reading the comments, not being part of the conversation. Uh, I think we're about to die. Uh, keep chasing those birds, please. Keep chasing the birds, please. So, yeah, if people aren't part of the conversation, if they're being disruptive, if they're not reading the, the conversation, then there's, there's no reason we want them to be part of here. And that's that's really more so what that's about. Oh, we're about to die. We're about to die fairly close to our our base, though. Narco berries, narco berry seeds. All right. Never knew that was a rule. See, most people never find out that that's a rule, and with good reason, um, because most people are part of the conversation. They're part of the discussion. You know, saying hello to Freddy. Freddy saying hello to you. You know, including people. That's that's mainly the reason why that actual particular rule is in there. Also, if a mod is talking to you, or if there's a nightbot command that's being used for you, and you're acting like you don't see it, <laughs> that's another reason why you can get banned. All right. So we know there was an ichthy around here. Is it still around here? Or did it get bored and take off? It's still around here. Oh, look at it. Strutting like it owns our body. And yeah, mainly because it does. Yeah, we're, we're doing our best, Freddy. Send that thing off somewhere else. Alright. Just get all of our stuff. And, you know, it's free meat. We'll just destroy our clone. 
You can take the free meat with us. Uh, Sammy, it's not exactly what I'd call improper. Uh, if the chat's moving fast, it rarely does for our channel. Uh, in times that we do get a lot of people in, we do engage slow chat mode. And again, it's of all the actual things that people have been banned for, it's by far one of the least things that anyone's ever been banned for. All right, and almost to our base. But yeah, in general, the only reason why we've ever banned anybody for that is like they've been asking things and like right after their message, it pops up. And right before their message, it's there. I mean, anything along those lines. So it's like, clearly if you're disrespectful in chat, then we just really can't have people like that around. All right, so we can drop that. We can drop the skins. Put that there. Light the fire. And we should have some oil over here. So we can start making some gasoline also. So that should do double duty for us. Alright, so while that's doing that, we got 19. Yeah, Freddy, we, we tend to try our best to be transparent with everybody. It doesn't always work out as well as we'd like it to. But we we have a pretty good team of mods and people that like to make sure that everything's going as fair as possible. You know, I th think we need to cook some food also. We haven't put our fire in here since we got rid of it. Drop the food there. Got eighteen bones. I oh, appreciate that, Freddy. I, I like the fact you keep coming, man. It always means something to me when we got people that are, are sticking around and being part of the community. Uh, do we have any seeds in here? We do. So that's why I wasn't too worried about the, the narco seeds. Uh, get those. Uh, that's a pretty instant ban here, too. Uh, however, it... We do have a filtration on the server, so it, in general, it's at least good for people. But if your autocorrect is is autocorrecting words to that, then there's a pretty good reason why. I I use a lot of adult language with my friends and family at times, and I gotta admit I've not had my autocorrect use that or do that yet. So, all right. Uh, I think we're good there. We don't have any berries there at the moment. That's good. We've been really lucky on some of the drops. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, you, you gotta understand, Sammy, for some channels, especially when it's plastered everywhere, it, you know, it does make it, uh, it never really changes here. We try. We try to keep everything the same, Freddy. Occasionally there's an adjustment, but yeah. Right, tribe menu. We're getting there. We're about level 2 on our tribe. Just let that cook. That should, should pretty much cook all the food we need. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go behind Picky here. I agree to disagree, Sammy, for that particular instance. We we do have to draw the line somewhere, and if it and if younger people want to be testy with the sensors that we have for the adult language, then they will reap the consequences. So let's go ahead and 
Drop these in here. We should be able to repair our tools. Oh, my character's here? Yeah. Um, can I make scissors yet? Uh, do. Or are you talking about my hair? I would say at this point we are beyond example, sir. Yeah, my hair is, it's, yeah, I've been growing it long. Diggert wants to see what it looks like in a man bun. So for grins and giggles, we're doing that. All right, let's go ahead and cut our hair because hair is actually, uh, hair is actually a resource that's useful here. So accept. All right. and put the pickaxe back. Wait, didn't we repair the... Oh, we hadn't repaired the metal pick yet? There is Kratos, but Birdless, yeah. Okay, so we grab that. Uh, timeouts are pretty, pretty regular for channels like this. All right, so we got that, we got that. So why are we going to... Uh, understood, understood. And it depends upon the channel, right? It depends upon the channel, and it depends upon the conversation. I mean, there's been some people that have said things that they weren't aware was a swear word. And we usually give them a bit of a benefit of the doubt. All right, is there anything that we need... I think we're all right. All right. So we're going to go up to the community center up here. And actually, we're, we're going to get in our, our boat, I think. And we're going to go across. Uh, Sammy, you know, there's basically the big seven um, that we pretty much frown upon. And anything that's considered super vulgar. I guess the, the best way to say it is if you're in a kindergarten classroom and the word you said gets a lot of kids going, ooh, you said a dirty word, then that's pretty much the, the definition we got here. And the reason for that is I do have a three-year-old nephew who watches the streams. Uh, da Vesen Yartels? Yartels? Uh, hello. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, we got young viewers, and that's the reason why we keep the language the way it is. I've got young relatives. Yeah, something a little bit more offensive than that, Freddy. But yeah. So I know we got some metal over here that we can harvest that's fairly easy to get a hold of. And we've been pretty fortunate. We've not had many lead Siths come after us with our little boat that we've been moving back and forth across the way here. All right, that's good, so we can we can use that if we need to. Boy, howdy, though. I need to remember next time we go in the water, we probably need to make sure that all we're taking with us is our pick because we do not want to lose all this other valuable stuff we got. That's, that's a little extreme. All right, so. All right, well, have a good day, Sammy. Thanks for showing up and just hanging out with us. Uh, keep in mind, next Friday, providing we are able to stream due to real life, we will have a new game series. We do have a vote going on in our family-friendly Discord right now to choose that. We'll soon 
know what it is. Of course, we give ourselves about a week to make sure we get everything for everything. All right. And looks like there's a little bit of metal there. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Uh, trying our best to stay away from sharks. And for those that aren't familiar with the server setup we have, we do have TC's auto rewards, Timmy Carbines. Um, we would not be able to do that, actually, Freddy. Um, this particular server we have has Brutal Arc. And Brutal Arc actually restricts the size of the base building based upon your tribe's level and the number of successful purge defenses you've done. So there is a purge on this particular server. It happens every two real life days. A contestant for purge is selected based upon how greedy they've gotten. It's it's pretty brutal. It, it gets pretty brutal. There's a lot of things. Uh, the, the levels, like that's a level 180 dodo. Um, actually, we probably need to kill this thing. If we can. There we go. Where'd the body go? Chopping it for parts. But in in 180, well, there's some pretty low levels around here. All right. I don't remember there being much metal over here, but maybe there is. Oh yeah, th those are the highest even. Um, here's a 240. There's a 420. Let's see. There's a 360. So these are pretty small level also. Uh, the highest level on this particular server for base level is 1800. Which means that there are uh, dinos on this server that are over 2000. The highest level dino that will submit to a human being is 600. Or anything that's simply born that way. And by born that way, it has to be born from tame animals you had before. So you can't just go out and find like a, a rock drake egg or a wyvern egg. Four twenty and thirty six. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's not good. That's a five forty. Yeah, we're gonna get all the way away from five forty if we can. Okay, that's a scout. Scouts aren't too bad, providing we don't do anything to to damage the flora and the fauna around here. Boy, it's starting to get to where I need climbing picks to get around, maybe. Or some grapples. Yeah, we need to get away. They've, they've found us. It's like that scene from the first Jurassic Park movie where the copies come after them. Oh, here's some rare flowers. That's good. A Jerboa? I don't think I've ever seen a Jerboa down over this way. That'd be nice to get the little 600 Dilo. I mean, it's looking like we pretty much have tapped all the metal that we have around here. Uh, level 300 cola camp. How big is this moss chops? 1740. There you go, Freddy. There's a big old dino. That's almost the level cap for a moss chops. Ooh. Tinto berry. Oh, 540 at that. We might get lucky with this moss chops. 
sure would be nice. This uh, steaming pile of excrement, though, we, uh... Ooh, that's that's pretty good. Wait till it's hungry again. I'm hoping it just wants Tinto Berries. It's a very big boy, and it will be really good for us to use to kind of get around places. Providing we can keep it fed and hungry. Put cooked prime meat. Oh, well. No longer our buddy. <laughs> we, 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 we tried. Um, oh, wait, no, wrong guy. Okay, cool. Wait until it's hungry again. All right, we're sure going to wait. We're going to wait. Uh, we should be able to feed it like 11 times and it'll be tamed. Okay. These things like plant species seeds, if I remember right. Five forty might be a bit for this guy, but we'll see. And these things need like rare flowers and mushrooms and steak and that's a female even. That's even better because that means it'll start laying eggs. We'll have to build it a room on our base. That's fine though. Cooked Prime, but that's not who we're looking for. Where's the... Alright, there she is. I guess over here we can keep getting some... Refresheners called Extraments. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's a pretty bad pun. Is that an otter? Uh, that's a big old dodo. Mate boosted, that's fine. So far we're still good because there's nothing here that's really dangerous. I mean, should have some, some good hide on that, right? Yep. All right, good. Probably not the brightest thing to kill that, because that means that now there's a spawner that had to activate, and the Jabo is perfectly fine. We didn't have to worry about it. Boy, it sure doesn't like to eat at all. Aiming isn't even dropping. Huh. That's level six. Mm. And we know that we're waiting for a lot of metal to cook, so that's kind of why we're not really rushing back to the base, because the things that we want to build on the base aren't going to require all that much. We do have meat cooking on the fireplace, though. Yeah, it'll go bad after about 20 minutes, so we will only lose like two or three pieces of meat. That'd be nice to get to. All right. Well, if you, if you need one really bad, Freddy, by all means, clean yourself, dude.
all this to possibly have it turn around and go, no, nope. you're not going to have the item that I need to eat. Alright, oh, it's good, man. We're going to be streaming for about another hour and 15 minutes. So no worries, no worries at all. Kind of need to go fishing, too. Ah, it's a 1020 copy. Ah, uh, I don't need to go fishing that badly. Ah. Uh. All right. Well. Is that a female? Yeah. It's a male? Hmm. Oh, there's some more metal. How big is this guy? Six, uh, 600, huh? I think we can take it. Well, if we actually see it, we can take it. Did it just bug out? It sure did. They, they, they do some of the weirdest running. This so we can get some metal. It's about dead. There's a rich metal vein. This is what we're looking for, guys. Right here. This will top us off, probably. Oh, not quite. Oh, there's a bone, too. Oh, a couple bones. Alright, drop these rocks, because we definitely don't want the rocks. Here is some metal notes. Some underwater metal nodes. We'd have to be able to grapple to get that one. Unfortunately, we can't. These we can get, though. This one here as well. And drop some more stone. Uh, that is unfortunate. We'll drop some, some wood. There we go. Awesome. We're going to go check on the moth shops that we tried to tame over here. See if it's one to cooperate with us yet. Oh. Even though it hasn't. Possibly. We do have metal over here we can get. So that's an advantage. Okay. Well. Where'd she go?
The fact the spear does knockback is really good for these things. Maybe... Nope. Okay. So I hear her. She wants rare flowers. Okay, we can give her rare flower. Not bad. Um, did take quite some considerable time, though. And rare flower is definitely a little higher up. Man, this 540 moss chops, though, would be really nice to be able to tame. It's so far away, though. Alright. I think we're going to chance. That's a 1620. Alright, we gotta get out of there. So I think we can get all the way back to our, our boat and drop off our metal and come back before the Moss Chops realizes we're gone. And hopefully before anything else eats the Moss Chops. That's, that's the big concern more than anything. Sixteen eighty. Boy, howdy. That one right there, right? That's a ten. Oh, ten sixty. Now, we don't need a sixteen eighty and a ten sixty after us. Oh, we did not need that either. We did not need that either. Oh, or that. Oh, we're dead. Rip, dip, and all the potato chips, guys. Okay, so let's see here. We have the left boat bed, and we will respawn there. How big a kitty cat was that? It's just an 1140. Ugh. Okay. There's our body. We got this close, and we got wrecked. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it and back without dying, but we're going to give it a good shot. We are the king of no pants. Let's run away. Oh, some more bones. And the bones are useful on our server. Um, they are available for exchange for other items. Speaking of things that are useful, there's also a oil trail down that way. Like this direction. So let's... Oh, we got that bug again. Watch, if we go around this, guys, it'll teleport us out here. And if we walk off of it, it'll put us back on the boat. It's a weird bug with the, uh, with the Brutal Arc mod. Uh, they didn't get our ascended pants or hat destroyed, but they did destroy all of our regular stuff. Which is fine. Repair. We'll drop our skins. We'll put our feet on, our pants on, our gloves on. We can drop that. We can transfer everything there. Alright. And... Looks like we're go for oil, guys. 
Oh, we were. Alright, so we know that if we get eaten by a shark in the middle of the water, that there's a pretty strong chance that that's it. So we're just going to lose a metal pick at worst. Alright. Let's go forward a little bit more. Oh, it's far too dark to see down now. Ah. Alright, well, we were hoping we were going to get some oil on this trip, but we're not. And we're fine with that. We're alive. We're able to get some of our stuff. We get back to our base. Should be able to whip this around. And basically park it. That doesn't sound like a... Is that a shark? Something damaged this wall. Oh, it sure is, guys. It's that shark. It, it really wants us. Um, I need to get off the, the, the magic piece again. Alright. Uh, grab all of our stuff. We're not over-encumbered. Good morning, Sally. Alright, let's just run. And hope we outrun them. So note to self, sharks growl. All right, no worries, Sally. Lurk away. All right, so we got the metal. We got... Have to see what else we get here, because we we boy howdy. All right, I guess we can put some clothes on to warm us up a little bit. There we go here. Got most of that metal baked. Not all of it. That's good. Got some gasoline, we'll go and pull that while we're at it. Sound like a drop? Guess it's just the multiple fire sources. We can extinguish this one for now, maybe. Because the the forge is providing a good fire. Right? Oh wow! Is it the upstairs one? Is that what's providing all this light? It sure is. 
Well, that's good. I, uh, I like getting better access off of little stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. duh, Mag. Come on, Mag. You know what else is going. This campfire is going. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. All right, so let's get the meat out of there. Nothing spoiled yet. That was that's that's impressive. All right, and let's go ahead and see what Picky's eating. Picky doesn't get to eat the the purple ones. All right, so we'll go ahead and put all this here. So we're one bone away from 40. 50 would be really kind of what we're shooting for. All right, it's not too bad though. Okay, and... That's right, okay. Don't think we have anything that needs fabrication yet, so we're good with that. We're at 63. Brana saddle on it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, angler gel. Ugh. Okay. Glider suit, that would be kind of nice to be able to make. So I think we're good to start making our piping so make us our intake we need um, let's start with maybe like 20 of those and like a tap and we want one of these and maybe like 10 of those all right so we're gonna grab the intake pipe we're gonna hope that we can get this all the way up to our base with just 20 of the vertical ones if not, though, we got some more cooking, so we're good there. Ah, uh, it's 16 after midnight. It's going to take forever. So that's all we need to try to start. I mean, if I could do intake from there, it would be probably best. Gonna have to fight that shark to get all the way out though. Uh, Alright, take some hits. Alright, so here is. I think it's pretty tall. Ooh, I wonder, can I can I build here? Cause building here that's gonna be annoying though. I was just thinking that could be where the garden goes, but maybe not. Oh, 
Mr. Big Ol' Megalodon. I hope you found something else to eat. Alright. Oh, that looked like a dino over there. That full dark shadow. 240 rat. Uh, so just rough, those 240s. And we're using metal mainly because we don't want it to be destroyed as much as possible. We do know this being Brutal Arc that things are going to get wrecked. see how this all looks inside with the crafting still. Um, grab those. Grab that intersection. Boy, howdy. All right, so we're going to have to... Hmm. Let's see. That's what we can do. One second. These can be moved, right? Hold the phone. I had two of them. Something damaged my torch? Doesn't say that it was. Oh, I already picked one up. I'm silly. That's what's going on. Oh, they're, they're part of the Brutal Arc. I bet. Oh my gosh. Alright. So I gotta figure out... Because look at this, guys. Like, my placement is, like, right here on the, on the cusp of everything. Ugh. Did that bug me out? Did going in K mode seriously bug me out for placements?
It did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so I can place there at least. There we go. Okay. So I can kind of line myself up. Wait, did it, did it? I'm going to have to build like a normal torch and just drop it so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I guess it's getting light out, so we can just pick this back up and put it like over here maybe. So we can at least see the side of the bed base a little bit better. I didn't mean to fall like that. Uh, maybe I can actually still get it here. Of course it's not the way I want it to go. Hmm. We get that cross piece, I guess. No, we we, we want we would definitely want that to be as uh, far up as possible. Oh, uh, what do you mean I can't place it? That's not even cool. I was about to have some, some major conversational problems with my game here, guys. There we go. Alright, and let's go ahead and switch these out. Wait, what? How is the water pipe obstructed up there, guys? I'm getting arced hardcore, guys. Uh, all I wanted to be able to do is plant some, some berries and some flowers. Actually, no flowers, but berries. Oh, a Fiomia. Oh, gosh. And those are those are actually really really useful for for not having all the niceties that we have on some of the other arcs. All right. Why are you obstruct? Ah, shells, but. Let's, let's try to do that without being like a, a baby without death perception, you know? That was that was just over the edge. Uh, there I went. Okay. Okay. 
It seriously thinks this is obstructed. All right, so. This is gonna be so ugly looking when I'm done with it, guys. That's not obstructed, but the other one is. I... I don't even know, guys. I don't even know anymore. All right. All right, so we got water leading up there now. So let's climb up. Up. We're going to do a spread one. And if we weren't playing on Brutal Arc, we would be absolutely doing something else with these. But as it stands, we are playing Brutal Arc and keeping extra components and things. Just not good. Just not the smart tactic. So we are going to use our wonderful picky eater we got. Get that, put that there. And ooh, that might actually be worth it too. Um, did you eat it already? Oh, you didn't. Hot fudge, okay. Now she's gonna start eating, oh, that's fine. Uh, pipe. We're gonna make a couple more of these taps. All right. Pretty sure that'll irrigate that one, and this will irrigate that. And so now, what we gotta do now is make the last part that we wanted. And we can hear. You can hear the picky eater eating. That'll be fine enough. Right there. Oh. Yep, right there it looks like. Okay. So we should be able to drink water at this tap now. And we can fill up water things once we get water things. So that's good. That's actually starting to work pretty good. All right, you ate some stuff. But you didn't eat enough to actually make anything, so that's not bad. All right, eat five steaks to get us back where we want to go. All right, so now we need some wood and thatch. And we are good to go for that. We're primed to go for that. All right, so just double checking. Arc likes to be funny. First thing we're going to tame though is absolutely a Fiomia. And 
Actually, let's see here. Large. These take wood, thatch, stone. Alright. And we need six of them? So six times eight is four. Uh, wait. Wait. Yeah, 480. So we're going to get 480 wood first. bad thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna eventually have to get some plant species x seeds that's a 16 that wants a medjo berry that's funny all right probably halfway a little bit over halfway 348 How big are you? 1200 and you, oh, you're 300 and stuck? I just wish I had the way to, to knock him unconscious at the moment. Oh, wait. I do. Okay. All right, this is actually not a bad plan. Except for we're in the middle of stuff, so we just, no, forget it, forget it. Alright. So, crafting. Garden. Large, maybe? That's what it was? Alright. We got all the thatch we need for two of them. So, we need some more thatch. So, every th 80 thatch is two. That's like 40 thatch. 60. A little bit more thatch will be done. Where are we at? Uh, so we got the thatch. So next it's the fiber, which we need 245 for. Ooh, another steaming pile, guys. Boy, howdy. Um, that's going to bite us in the in the posterior later, but you know, for now, it's actually not bad. Whoa. <laughs> Ascendant Riot! Hey! Come on! Purge us! We, we definitely have the, the points for purging now, probably. We have three pieces of Ascendant. Or four pieces of Ascendant, because we got an Ascendant Club also. fiber now 230 almost the 240 we need some more bones we'll go put them in our thing also just gather some fiber while we're at it we probably don't need all this fiber uh, we probably already have some at the base but you never know. I'm actually looking forward to being able to do some gardening. Finally. 
if we can get some plant species axe, we can put a turret there. Hmm, maybe we need more metal piping. Because that would be actually pretty good for the plant species X turrets. Bay watching it all the way up, guys. Cue the chariots of fire song. Dun 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 Oh, Piggy gave us something. Why don't you give us Flint? Not bad. Did she level up by any chance? Nope. And that's out of fuel. That's not a horrible thing, though. All right, so we can put them there. Let's get our club because we're about to go club into Fiomia. Berries, fibers, and bones. All right, so you get to eat these berries. Fiber, oh, of course, BE for fiber. All right, um, oh, that's a stack of 50. That'll actually be good. Okay, and with that in mind, let's just put these seeds away. All right. Let's just hope that Fiomi is still trapped over here. Looks like it. All right. You just say put. Boy, it's going to take a while. I do like the purple color it's got. It's kind of cool. Like the purple accents it has. Uh, about halfway. So let's just keep beating on her. All right. Well, appreciate that, Sally. Enjoy your day to the worry at work today. Closer. All right, so we're going to keep that unconscious for now. And we're going to go and buy a taming kit. Oh, welcome back, Freddy. All right, so here's our first community center. Here, reward menu, and we are looking for the taming tamer kit. All right, and we're going to since it's multiple choice. We'll take the hundred citronel instead. It's expensive, but worth it in my opinion. We got a, a club we can feed the other one to. All right. Speaking of feeding things, we're gonna cash in these bones. For a mind wipe tonic, I think. Actually, 
Yeah, for a mind wipe tonic. All right. Yes, they are part of the auction house system. Players on the server are able to buy and sell things to each other through keeping the monkeys happy. Okay, it's a scout. We're not too upset about a scout. Oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, howdy. It does not like lemons. So we're going to go, we, we have to have like two tame kits worth of lemons for this thing. I love the sound effect for things that are locked. Alright. And... Boy howdy, that just puts us down low. Um... I don't think there's anything in the resources kits that get us there. We just leveled up. Um, boy, howdy. Alright. So, note to self the tamer kit really doesn't play well with these settings. But that's fine. Um, all right. Sixty-four. What did we get at sixty-four? Oh, an industrial grinder. Not anything that we're really going to be using much of. All right. Grab the bones because the bones are absolutely useful. Boy, she took to eating like a champ. Wow. Um. Okay. She just was being a picky eater for a second. Oh, that's 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 excellent. All right. So once. So we need to see what it takes to make a Fiomi a saddle. Wood, hide, and fiber. All right, so we need some hide. You're a 660. What, pray tell, are, are you? You're a 1620? Ugh. All right. We need some small dinos to, to carve up for some. There's another Fioma. A 240. If we can get this thing killed before it takes off. Excellent. This will probably get us the hide we need. Awesome. So fiber and wood. All right. Let's get the wood. And let's get some fiber. And 
And while we're out here, we also need to be working on the stone we need for the crop plots. So we need 600 stone. That's a lot of stone. Fortunately, we got a place we can get a lot of it at. Make that saddle yet? We do. We're going to craft the saddle. It's going to upper weight by about 20, right? Yeah, 20. Okay. All right. I think we have. Shaved all the stone off of there. All right. Let's go back to the Fiomio we have down here. Uh, hopefully, nothing has decided to try to kill it. It seemed like it was in a pretty vulnerable spot. It's definitely eaten up, though. Alright. Having a Dodigris for this, of course, would be infinitely easier but in order to start doing that kind of stuff we're gonna have to become infinitely infinitely more with all the stuff we are getting set up where, where is it 241 all right so we're almost a halfway to the stone that we need Almost halfway tamed. All right. That's a red drop. I'm. I think it's level 80 for a red drop. So we're definitely nowhere near. And for those watching and that are watching live, we got about an hour and a half until the vote will close. And at that point, it'll be too late to vote. So make sure you get your votes in. I know, pardon me, I know there's a lot of fan favorites right now going on. Not sure where it's all going to wind up at. But you never know until it all happens, right? All right, so let's get in here, close these doors. All right, grab the wood. And the stone and large. What am I missing? Thatch. I right, craft one. The fiber was the reason. All right. I can craft two more. So let's start by putting all this that we don't need over in there. Let's feed her these two billy clubs. Because we absolutely don't need those. Upper crafting skill. The likes are in the duality three likes, three dislikes. Oh, well, Freddy, I, I know why the, the dislikes are there. The the gentleman that we were speaking to earlier today was the same person all three times. The first one was their account was banned. Their second one was the uh, Ugandan account that was the troll account. 
and the third one was the person that they came in and had a good chat with us, uh, Sammy the Fish Fighter, um, basically trying to poke and prod at us. But it's all good, man, because the the, the jokes on them, uh, YouTube actually counts a dislike as equal as a like. You get enough dislikes on YouTube, it's, it's basically as much as getting likes. And so that's why we always say, guys, that we are we are more than happy to see dislikes on the channel. Man, that raw prime. It's a shame that it's going to waste, but it's it's part of the. Uh, I guess I could cook it. Duh. Oh. We, we only, you know, the likes come in, the likes come in, the dislikes come in, the dislikes come in. You know, we're not, we're not doing this for fame or notoriety or anything. We're just doing this to have fun. And so we appreciate the sentiment, though, Freddy. All right, so... Actually, hold up. Here we go. Drop that there. So we need another 300 stone. It looks like we might actually wind up with the tamed Fiomia and the stone we need. Haha. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Freddy. I don't see anything that would have eaten our Fiomia. I did see another. Right, where is she at? 67 at 140 levels. She'll be nice and big. She's just at the bottom of the of the scale. Get us some water here. Making us a metal flask is also high on our agenda at this point now. stone but this metal being right here back is is worth it in my opinion basically said what I thought about that. 100's not bad. 100 stone's not horrible. Let's get some of this wood. found a couple of berries. Get some more metal. Metal's important. We're going to need a lot of metal. So we're, we're definitely getting sluggish from the materials that we had on us. 
Where are we at on the metal or the stone? 195. We need another 100 stone. Ugh. I guess we gotta drop this off and come back for the rest of it. Oh, there's another bone. Bones are becoming important. We eventually will have a flyer, guys, and then the game will change a little bit. Whoa, it ate all the food? And it lost all of its tame? Okay. Oh, it works. Yeah, anyone can like a video. All right, we're going to have to... I don't know. We're going to have to get back before it wakes up, that's for certain. Grab these lemons, grab these majos, cause yuck. Uh, put these bones away. Actually, it's a full stack of ten. Yeah, I should have... oh, well, that's cool. in 20 days. Alright, so let's go give this thing its its lemons. And we're going to have to buy another kit. I mean, I wasn't thinking we would. But clearly this thing got a mind of its own when we left. I mean, I did the math, and I just didn't do it right, apparently. Here you go. Eat all that. Boy, howdy. It's going to chew through that like a blood buzz saw. And we could have taken the time to farm, manually gather, rather, all the berries. But that wasn't really going to do us any good. Oh, fiddlesticks. We bought the wrong kit. Oh, that hurt more than anything. That hurts more than anything. Ah. Fifty-eight. Okay. Angry at some game? That happens. Alright. We don't need... that. Alright. We know we need about a hundred stone, so we'll get the hundred stone we need. Unfortunately, it's going to tame mostly quick. I'm really curious as to where it winds up at when it hits 50. So I think it's going to auto-tame now. Alright, and we need... Alright, so we got 74, so we need a little bit more that auto tame yep auto tame is pretty good when we can actually forget about a dino you just let it sit there 
and it should be tamed when it's all said and done. We're good with that. All right, so stones, we got 121. All right, so next we need to figure out Dino Gate. Dino Gate will take 80 more stone, so we need 80 more stone. Six, twelve, twenty down. Oh, here's another bone. Thirty stone. Just in case we can't do math, it's close to 9 o'clock in the morning before we, you know, go to bed in about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's just gather some berries. Just because. Alright, you're at 56, and you still got... A little over a hundred of the lemon. How late is it for me? Uh, it's 9 a.m. almost, Freddy. But I go to bed at 10 a.m. So it's, it's for me, it's kind of late, right? Because I, I wake up at 6 p.m. and go to work usually and then come home and go to bed between like um, 9.30 and 10. So it's... It's about an hour before I go to bed. Alright. Ten is a healthy time to sleep. Uh, it is. Uh, if you if you flip it, right, if you basically act like I get up at 6 a.m. and go to bed at 10 p.m., then I'm getting eight hours of sleep. And I usually, you know, sleep pretty soundly. Alright, so over here, come in here. Drop all of this off. Let's feed you these two billy clubs. So you got a while till yeah, it's not too much further for you before you got to go to bed though, right? Uh, all right, let's drop that. Let's dump those in there for food reasons. This for that. Crafting, we need wood, thatch. Do they need thatch? They do need thatch. We forgot that we needed thatch. That doesn't help. Um, okay, so gate. Thatch is for that too. Yuck. Okay, we need to go and just get a whole lot of thatch coming up. Alright, that's fine. And anything else I need to get out of here while I'm at it? Uh, let's split one of these bones off and put it there. Six and a half hours? Okay, so yeah. Um, so about 11.30 then? It's not a bad bedtime. Oh no, I'm doing bad conversion. Uh, yeah, it's like 9.30 for you then. For when you go to bed. Yeah. Alright. Please. Alright, so we should we should be really good here. Awesome. Just gather all the thatch in the world. You need your rest. Hey, rest is good. Rest is good. lot of thatch. Alright, start 
chopping down wood now. We need like 280, I think. Oh, we forgot the door. Shell's bought. Okay. The door takes 60. So 280, 60, so 340. All right. Absolutely, absolutely, Freddy. When you when you start getting ready for bed, whatever your your nightly ritual is for bed, you, you just don't want to you don't want to get interrupted for it. When you're going down, you're going down, and that's all there is to it. All right, you are so close. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the base. We're going to make the things we need. We're actually going to go get our our range back so we can get an idea of what we're building and where we're building at. That's a Pelagorn. It's not a lead Sith. That's good. Okay. Show claimed area. So we have all this room over here to make for our Fiomia a place to be at, so that's good. Alright, so grab this crafting gate. Needs fiber, right? Yep, fiber. Craft that, craft that. This now needs wood. We can craft those three. How's Digra doing? Digra's doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, she's actually been having a pretty good time lately. We recently watched a couple of movies and theaters. We're actually mostly caught up with the Marvel Universe now. We just got the last couple. Oh yeah, we got just the last two that came out is all we got left. Uh, we leveled up. Yes, we will offer melee damage once more. 65 brings us C4 and flamethrower. That's not bad at all. All right, so we need this here, that there, that there. Pick up this wood wall. Pick up that wood wall, and actually. Let's just do this. And yeah, just uh, we've actually saw uh, Infinity War. We need uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, and then after Captain Marvel is in game, and we'll be done. No more Marvel movies at that point. And technically, I could get creative with all this build, but I'm not going to. Um, just trying to get some boundaries set. Right. 
Uh, hello, Swifts, I guess. Yeah, that's 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 what we're expecting, and so that's why we're gonna make sure that we watch all of it. Ah, uh, see, that's just on the cusp of a lot of things. All right, so hopefully this Fiomi is ready to go, and we'll be able to bring it in. We need. We need some other stuff. Awesome. We have now a Fiomia. Full 429. It's probably... That's ah, not too bad. Uh, it's already leveled up a few times, too. Let's level up its weight. Oh, thank you, thank you. Alright, now we can get this over. We got us a nice little beast of burden. It's leveling up. We're going to up its move its speed and its weight, because this thing is mainly gonna be not for anything other than uh, its special ability. Which is quite fine by me. Alright, yeah, let's see here. Inventory. Good there. Foundation. We need three foundation pieces. We can craft one. Why is that? Because we need more wood. Okay. Alright. Is my world boosted? Uh, no, actually, not really. Uh, there is some boosted to experience, but the gathering rates are all normalized. The world is Brutal Arc, so it has some caveats to it, like uh, that's level 1620 Parasaur. And all the carnivores are leveled with it as well. You can only build wherever you claim at. So since I don't have a claim block down, I can't build here. So you can't just build everywhere you want. It is a PC server. It is open to the public for a family-friendly community. There are currently seven other people playing on it at the moment. Not a whole lot of people stick around, though, because they don't like the fact that the game is a lot harder than what they're used to. All right, so we got that. We got that, so the wall's next. All right. But yeah, it, it definitely recommend playing Brutal Arc. Uh, Timmy Carbine, the one who made the Auto Rewards mod, he's actually the, the genius behind it. And it is a very difficult setup, to say the very least. Okay, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. Okay, how many walls can I make at the moment? Six. That. Might be all the walls I need. But yeah, yeah, Swifts, you don't know terror until all of a sudden you're chased down by um, a group of level 1600 ants. And then that's that's where that's where the the real bad thing happens. All right, come on, little purple thing. The purple color spots is kind of cool on the Fioma. All right. Oh, no worries, Freddy. Uh, we're actually about to call it quits, guys. It's a little bit after nine. And so that's usually our bedtime. 
We just want to make sure that we get this thing parked where we need it. All right. So I have to build a little bit higher than we thought we would. That's fine. All right. But yeah, so we, we did pretty good. We got our base expanded. Boy, howdy. We really need to get a roof over this guy. Um, do I have any wood and materials still over here from prior, prior things? No, we do not. We do not. Okay. So, at this point, because time is the way it is, right? We're going to have to go to the community center and buy us some stuff. So, that's 6, 10. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. We can use those. So, we need four, six, so just ten, hmm, I think that's fine, I think that's fine, all right, and hopefully we don't get wrecked by a, a Nick Fiornis at like level 1200 or something like we've done in the past. So once we have to move, it's going to be... Because we are going to have to move eventually, guys. Come on, open. Do we bring our bones with us? We didn't. Ugh. So we can't use the bone trader. Alright, so reward vault. We're looking for the wood building kit. And that is... Wooden builder kit. It's not too bad. All right, so we don't need any foundations. We need four walls. We need six ceilings. No railings, no door frames, no doors, no ramps, no hatch frames. Any kind of extra we get, we're going to... I think we're going to use wooden catwalks for that. I think we're going to go with two wooden catwalks. And then... Two more wooden ceilings. Alright. Purchase that. Grab those. So we didn't get the garden started. But we got everything we need for the garden built. That's important. Any food so I can just get my guy to be quiet for a little bit. It'll work. Alright. And we'll get some steak when we get back. That's a Pelagorny that just landed. That's not too bad. Spooked me a bit, but not too bad. Okay. Alright. Uh... Beta Dozicris is gone. That would have been nice to get. Alright, so in here, close this door, go to our second floor. We're going to pick this wood up, pick that wood up. We're going to put our catwalk down. Put that ceiling there. Uh. All right, and 
that's going to be fine for the catwalk there. All right. That should be six pieces of ceiling. All right, so now we got a roof over our head. Now we got a little catwalk so we can actually kind of walk across here and still have a bit of a utility room. Close that door. We don't want that open. All right, so the Fiomi's there. It should hopefully survive on what we have. We need to eat. And that will be it for today's session, guys. We, we did some pretty good stuff. We got pretty long. We got pretty far along. Um, can I, I can ride the Fiumi in here a bit. Good. Excellent. That's what we were worried about. We're going to also put, a, of course, a... And he's already doing what we want him to do. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and put us a spoiler bin here. Uh, compost bin. I think we're all good. Let's go ahead and up her level. And you can just eat everything else we had on us. Alright, well guys, thank you for watching. Freddy, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Swifts, uh, pleasure to have a new person to watch with, always. And Sally, uh, coming in a little later in the video. Appreciate that as well. Um, had a couple of people show up. They're probably trolling us, so unfortunately they don't get the nod. But guys, I am about to go to bed. I'm having a good night. You all have a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, have a good one. And thanks for watching. Take care.